You are watching this film because you have been chosen to be part of some research. After watching this, you will be given a form to read and sign about GDPR. GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulation. This film should help you understand the form. We hope it helps. Data is information that can be collected and used for both good and not so good things. Personal data is any information about you. This is any type of information which means you can be recognised. It could be your address, your name, your face, your voice or your DNA. Anything that means someone can link it back to you. Governments have learnt that personal data needs to be looked after and used in a way that's fair for everyone. GDPR is a careful set of rules to make sure this happens. Let's imagine that bits of personal data are like toy bricks and a research study is a school. At school, there are people who are responsible for looking after everyone. It's a safe place for people to share, play, test and try things out. Here is Matilda, our main character. It's her personal data. Her toy bricks that this story is about. She is with her teacher, Mr Todd. Well done, Matilda. That bus looks great. Matilda has a friend called Eric. He is making a house, but needs more bricks to finish it. Uh, uh Mat Matilda, can I use some of your bricks, please? I've run out. Sure, Eric. Oh, I've got to go now, but you're welcome to take a few. See you tomorrow. Bye. Eric uses Matilda's bricks, but soon realises that he needs some more. Mr Todd, do you think it's okay if I use more of Matilda's bricks? Did Matilda say it was okay for you to take more of her bricks, Eric? Uh, I think so. Eric takes more pieces. Eric's friends, Tom, Bean and Elijah, are visiting from a different school. Wow, that house looks great, Eric. Hmm, could we borrow some of your bricks to finish what we are making back at our school, please? Eric agrees but some of the pieces they take are actually Matilda's. The next day, Matilda finds her bus has lots of missing pieces. Eric, did you take more of my bricks yesterday? Oh, oh yeah, I, I did. Sorry, I didn't think you would mind. But I didn't say it was okay. Please can I have them back now? Uh, I need I'm them. I'm sorry, Matilda. I don't think I have them all anymore. I lent some to Bean, or maybe it was Elijah or Tom. I really can't remember. Do you know them? They're from a different school. The next day, Mrs. Jafter, the head teacher, comes to see the class. Hello, children. Yesterday, we had a problem with bricks being shared without people giving their consent or permission. We've realised it's important to have clear rules about sharing bricks. From now on, you must always ask someone before taking their bricks, which means you need to get their consent. Also, you can't give other people's bricks away. You must always ask the person who owns the bricks for their consent before you share them with other people. From then onwards, everyone knew who had their bricks and how to get them back if they wanted them. Let's go back to the research study and keeping your personal data safe. In our story, we saw Matilda's bricks being shared without her consent. In a research study, you and the adult who looks after you have to give consent for your personal data to be collected. You'll be given a GDPR form to sign, which will explain who you are giving consent to and what they will be doing with your data. On the GDPR form, you'll see some words that you might not understand. The sponsor means people who decide what happens in the research. In our story, this is the school. The data controller is the person who decides what happens with your personal data and makes sure everyone follows the rules. They are like the head teacher, Mrs Jafter. The data processors are people who use the personal data in the research study. So in the story, this is Mr Todd. Finally, the form might talk about third parties. These are different organisations outside of the research that could ask to use your personal data. In the story, these are Tom, Bean and Elijah. They took the bricks away to a different school. 
without Matilda's consent. The form might ask you to give consent now, or you might be contacted in the future. This is because any third party needs your consent to then have your personal data. In most research, if you change your mind and decide you do not want them to use your personal data anymore, you have the right to have it deleted. Where you can't have your personal data deleted, once you have agreed for it to be used, you will be told this at the start of the research. So make sure you remember this. We hope this has helped you understand GDPR, your rights and how it is there to keep your personal data safe and make sure you have agreed for people to use it. Thanks for watching.